let's try and find a chunk of the track where we can get a nice defined section and uh, think about trying to get this timed right with the grid. Okay, now I'm talking probably about something like this section here. If we look for the downbeat there, I'm moving the playhead and basically pushing the backslash to chop at that point. Let me just come out here. Nothing wrong with moving this down to another track, but before I need to set that up, let's get the extra track. Let's bring this down. Let's take away the media window. So we're talking about locking this down. Let's try bar nine. And let's test the old theory about the, uh, the tempo. Let's have a look. It's not too bad. You can see it's drifting a little bit here though. And what we can do is we could have a look at chunks. It's not too bad, but we really are gonna find that this is gonna be a little bit of work, this one. It's a complex track. There's a lot of stuff going on. It's not as if the beats are clean. So as I said before, let's work on chunks. Let's get this working. Let's find something about four bars. You can really see it drifting there. There's a real mixture of kind of early and late going on. Let's just put the playhead there. Let's cut that. You could actually attempt to just do a blatant stretch, but I'm not sure that's going to be the best approach. And you've got to think about lots of different possibilities when you're doing this. Let's have a look anyway. Alt plus drag. Let's take this up and let's have a listen to that. Too much drift going on there. It's looping reasonably well, but I think we can do a better job than that. So let's just undo that. Let's analyze the front. Let's see if we can improve things here as well. Cause I was just for speed, I was uh, doing it quite bluntly. And I think we can increase Let's just listen to that a second. There we go, that's much better. So let's just bring this over again. And let's have a look. Yeah, you know, we need to get this all nice and tidy. And what I'm gonna suggest in this case is that we do use the slicing. So let's put flex on. Let's drop down slicing. It's gonna try and establish the transients. As I said, it's a complex track. It really is. What I'm gonna do is just bring this over here with the stretch. And the other thing that I'm gonna do is take a look at, sorry, I didn't mean to put that in. Let's have a look. Yeah, there are sections here where it's not very clear where the beats are. Let's just have a listen. What I wanna do is focus on a small section. In fact, let's make that a really short section. Let's do something like this. You start to get some really good ideas when you do little loops like that. Okay, so let's come to the beginning. Look, we can see there that we could improve this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click down here. So we've now got these markers either side and I'm gonna pick this up and move this over. That's nice and tight on the beat there. And we can go through and we can sort this out with the other sections as well. So let's just have a look on this side. Okay, same again, let's bring this over. You know, you're talking about a real investment of time for this, but it's worth it in the end. And you've got your own version. And you can see that there are sections here that could really do with tightening up. Um, this one here, for example, this feels like it needs to be done. Let's move that one over, let's see. Get some really good textures coming through this. Right, we could probably need 
these to be tidied as well. Let's have a look. You could try quantizing, but I'm not going to recommend it. I think you would end up in a little bit too much of a world of chaos. That's working really nicely there. I like that little loop. And you, know, you really start to get inspired with these things. And uh, let me just show you. you know, we could actually stick on here. Let's get a filter, auto filter. Let's just stick this on. Let's put the fatness on. Let's bring some resonance up. Really go on a, a journey with this stuff, can't you? Let's take away the click. That snare. This over here. I think we need to move that. Let's try that over here. That's better. So you can see, you know, it's about you know just getting sections of this and locking them in a bit tighter to the grid. It almost feels as if, in some cases, we need to lock it into the sixteenth. And we could always drop in an instrument as well, just to give us a reference point. I'm not suggesting that I'm going to turn this necessarily into a four to the floor track. But if I just get up an ultra beat, I'm going to solo just to kick, turn the sequencer on. And then we're going to have this just as a little low end pulse. That's cool. But let me just take that kick. Let's take the decay. Let's shorten that. And I'm going to keep that in as a little reference point here. So what we need to do is to go through, find some sections like this that we can tie in. We're going to use these markers and get them nice and tight. Bear in mind, you know, sometimes it's almost unavoidable. You might find that there are sections you're really hearing the time stretch artifacts. But in the context of doing a re-edit and playing it in a club, it might actually sound really, really interesting. So what we'll do is I'll get to work on that. And uh, if I come across any particular things that I think I should show you, I'll do a video for them. But if not, we'll get to a point where we have a lot of these ready and uh, we can move forward.